Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports, where we have the new Warrior line. No. I didn't know where to go. Like, I guess so. We have a bit of everything, folks. <laughs> I know that a lot of you have been asking about these beauties that have been in the backdrop for a lot of our recent gear segments. I know it's generated a lot of comments in the, in the uh, comment section, even a couple calls to Cam asking, what exactly is that? What are those? But what are those? They don't even have a label on them. What are these things? What's this? <laughs> Why is Kevin wearing a glove on the wrong hand and it's huge? Well, let me tell you, folks, this is a Stanley Cup championship glove. This is Pavel Franco's practice mitt, SLR3. So it's this year is Stanley Cup season. And much like this eclectic mix of gear surrounding us right now, it Plastic can be purchased place. at the hockey shop source for sports, thehockeyshop.com. It's pro return time. And we're just going to mix it in and have a little fun and show you some of the samples. We did the Bauer one recently. We've still got a few of those. There's Linus Allmark's Sabres gloves. We've got a set of Devin Dubnik pads that are still available. Somewhere uh, over there. A whole bunch of CCM, E-Flex 4, uh, pro level stuff made for pros. Over here, we got, uh, is that Legacy? Max Legacy? Um, some of this stuff even has Kay Whitmore's autograph on it. I saw like league approved stuff for Joseph Cornar and the premier two line. There is a ton of stuff here. So first of all, we can't cover it all. We can't go over it all. So make sure you check them out at the hockey to get a better feel for all this unique gear, including are those messiahs? Yeah. Yeah. Warrior yeah. messiah. So predates Pete Smith joining warrior by a fair bit. Like I'm thinking cam, when I look at those yellow beauties, the the color doesn't make me think this, but the model does. Like I'm thinking Dwayne Rolison in Tampa. Oh, I'm Bay. definitely thinking Rolly the goalie right now for sure. That um, knee rolls, tiny thigh rise. Kids, you don't know how good you have it now that they have tall thigh rises. Thigh rises barely existed in the past. But even more for NHLers in Jonas Gustafsson, you're holding Yo, Detroit the Red Wings. This is return. the monster. What mod like so no no labels because Warrior obviously what hadn't paid the rights fee that year when they made these pads for him. So GT2. they hide the labels. This is GT2. Original Ritual One Glove. Ritual One. Oh, I this think brings that was the back. ST though. Brings back yeah, brings back memories, sort of like a like a more like a six hundred break. That brings back memories. G fifty five hundred style. We we were like the first ones to review this. And then GT2 blocker. You see, like Jonas Gustafsson, the monster. I think he's still, I think he might have just retired over in Sweden, so was still playing. Here's one that we just got recently, too, as well. Another speed, speaking of segue into old school Vaughn models, Epic 8800. We've got two of the all white gloves. Ooh, there's a lot of beer leaguers that are just like, sign me up right now. Cam, where can they get you if they need that 8800? 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Or you can now check them out at www.thehockeyshop.com. We have our own little pro return section. You'll find this and more all up there. Some specs, we did our best to break down everything we possibly can, but they are pro return, so there are some inherent natures or things that we may or may not have missed. That said, I, who, check them out. Is there a name on that one or that's just an 8800? Because there are definitely no still guys in the show that, wear it, that like that closure. And there are 100%. That's why it's still kind of around. Um, this one's based on V6 graphic itself. But uh, yeah, no name on this one. So I am I like, folks, I want to go to thehoggyshop.com right now just to see how exactly he described these warrior pads. Made, <laughs> made for Barada? Who's Barada? This is like a mystery. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, the you, mystery. maybe the internet can help us solve who had these custom yellow pads made. He wore number one. His last name was Barada. I don't know if he was a pro or not. Um, but if you want more information on these beautiful yellow pads so many of you have been asking about, or the Jonas Gustafsson Pro Return set, or a, like, there's a lot. Like, this is Legacy. There's Coronar. He's got a whole bunch more CCM. Deming. E-Flex 4. Louis Deming for the lefties. If, you, if the uh, Pro Return Pavel Francois Stanley Cup champion doesn't work for you, whole bunch of E-Flex yes. 4 and Premier 2. Pro return models on the wall. Sometimes you don't have to just go buy the newest model. Sometimes you can find some really cool stuff. And quite often, it's marked yeah. down. Well, those are definitely marked down, I hope. Find out at thehockeyshop.com. And if you happen to know who Barada is, let us know. 